Hi everyone, how are you going? Welcome to Sprinkle Money, the channel where we sprinkle our money, our, our leftover savings and whatever all across the portfolio. And if you're interested in that, please have a look at the um, 30 stocks that I have. It's down in the description below that I am following that I've chosen to do Sprinkle Money strategy with. It, the strategy is also linked below as well. So you can check out the sort of really verbose, annoying explanation I give of what I'm trying to do with this basically dollar cost averaging on steroids um, strategy. All right, today, enough about that. Today, we're talking about one of the stocks in the 30 and it's South 32. The ticker is S32 and uh, it is a um, another mining stock. Surprise, surprise. I've done a couple of miners. Um, um, however, this one is not in iron ore. It's actually a diversified miner. So South 32 is an $18 billion company. So it is considered a blue chip here in Australia. It is number 20 on the ASX. They do a lot of mining across a whole bunch of different sectors. So if you're after one miner that does a whole bunch of different mining, then South 32 is the one for you. They do bauxite, aluminium, copper, silver, um, alumina, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, right? <laughs> but uh, they do lots and lots of metals. That's just to name a couple. Um, their main game seems to be al aluminium. All right, so aluminium is the, the like a big chunk of their uh, mining efforts, but they do uh, a lot of work across all of those different materials. So if you are after a diversified miner, South 32 is definitely the one. Before I go any further, this is just obviously my opinion. And um, uh, if I give any advice, it's just purely from my perspective for entertainment purposes. If you are looking at buying South 32 or any other stocks on my channel, and please do your due diligence, go and see your financial advisor. Um, this is just for entertainment. How did I get onto South 32? Well, it's it's a <laughs> this is a very amateur move, but I'll share it anyway. It is what I call a rock star share. What I mean by that is that there are some uh, media outlets that um, seem to focus on certain types of stocks. And I don't know uh, how or why, but uh, for, for some reason, Motley Fools very often uh, comments on South 32. They report on the share price or the volume um, or what the company is doing. And sometimes they suggest to put South 32, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure, they suggest to put South 32 into a dividend portfolio or something like that. Um, apart from that, why did I buy it? Well, the div yield is quite nice. So the current div yield is 6.7%, which is quite quite handsome. It's, not, it's, not, it's you know, nothing to sneeze at, quite good. And they are 100% franked. Um, so in Australia, that's a really important element because that means that at tax time, you can get a little bit of tax back or tax credit as such from the ATO. So it's a franked um, dividend. Awesome. They don't have a DRP. So this is one of my stocks and I have a couple in my 30 that do not have DRP as an option. I'm going to let that slide for, for this particular stock. Um, I do like DRP, but at the moment I don't um, I don't, I'm not super, super focused on making sure that there's DRP on a particular stock and South 32 does not. Um, disclosure, I own approximately $4,400 worth of this particular stock and my current portfolio is up 4.93% on, um, on S32. So um, just swimming swimming quite nicely uh, in, the, in, in the green. Um, since I've been owning it and, and having it as part of my strategy. I have purchased South 32 in the Sprinkle um, strategy. I mean, you can see here, I did buy it, I think, once or twice. Um, I'll just highlight it for you there. Okay, so it was whatever position it was. I think it was number one or number two when I bought it. Um, and you can see that there. All right, so that means it was one of my best performing stocks at, the, at that point when I had money to invest. All right, so there you go, everybody. I don't really have a lot, out, lot, lot to say about so It seems like a massive company. Um, they, you know, $18 billion is, is quite large. <laughs> um, and uh, the 20th largest um, company in Australia by um, market cap. So it, it is a, another sort of those blue chip stables that, um, that you know, do a decent div yield. And like I said, the, the there's a lot of boxes ticked there, but um, it's just one of those rock star stocks. It's one of those stocks that keeps coming up in the news and uh, is uh, definitely one to hold, one to put into a portfolio. And that's just what I did. 
All right, everybody, that's about it for this video. A bit of a short one on South 32. How are you going with your portfolio? Do you have it? Do you have South 32? Are you looking at buying some? If you have it, tell me why you bought it. If you don't have it, tell me why you didn't buy it. All right, just a little end note here um, because I mentioned it twice already. I bought South 32 basically because it's a, it's a name on the ASX, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, a known company, um, is in the news quite often. Is that a reason to buy shares? Is that a, is there a reason to buy that particular stock because people know about it? Uh, I mean, I know if you, if you think about the stock market, if you think about the ASX, there's a lot of news going around. What are the stocks that you keep hearing about? BHP, CBA, um, Woolies, West, um, West Farmers, right? You hear about all these big blue chip companies. South 32 is in there. Um, is that a reason why people are buying it? Because it's, it's they're popular. It's 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 in the I suppose social psyche of investors. Uh, it's they get mentioned all the time on podcasts, on the news. It's you know, is that a valid reason to buy these stocks? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> all right, that's it for everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.